All right, hello everybody. My name is Nicholas Henley and I teach currently in Granville County Schools and um, I thought it might be interesting to see what a North Carolina teacher does when they re respond to the new uh, science curriculum and so forth like that. So first off, we need to get to that. So let's go to NC DPI science standards because they did change these up this year. And I have been tasked with coming up with basically a pacing guide for the teachers teaching physical science. And I want to start with that one because most of our students take physical science. Chemistry, I feel like the teachers are going to be a little bit more headstrong in that. And um, they don't need as much help. We, we know what we want to do. And honestly, we're probably going to fight each other more over, no, I'm not doing what you want me to do because I'm going to do what I want to do. Sorry, um, I've been teaching for a long time now. So um, now something I did not was not aware of, but my curriculum person told me was that the new standards are more phenomena based, which makes kind of some sense. But it also means you're going to have to do things in a completely different order than what I'm used to doing. My curriculum was based off of the. Um, So see, this is K-12. Sorry, I'm getting distracted here. This is not where I want to be, is it? I view and sort, yeah. I want to go to high school. I want to look at the unpacking. And I want to see it for physical science. That's what I want to see. This is what I want to see. So I guess this just this document right here. I don't need that sidebar. Let's zoom in a little bit so it's a little bit clearer. And I get the whole thing. I, I don't want the whole thing. Just... Really? Okay, so they... I don't know, DPI. What are you doing? So here's the Physical Science 2023 support document. Organizes the border standards organization. Three domains. Physical, life, and earth. But that's... That's for lower grades. I don't want the lower grades. I want the high school version. Do they have everything in here? What do they have? Sorry, my phone chimes all the time. I should probably put it on Do Not Disturb. But I'm just kind of doing this off the cuff. Is it this much? Not all of this. This is Physical Science 2023... I love the fact that it's 2023, but it's July of 2024, and they released this in, like, May of 2024. Organizes the standards into broader categories, K-12, broader content, objective. Objectives are specific content, science dimensions. So I think this is just examples. So we get straight into matter and its interactions. Construct an explanation, classify matter as pure substances, use models, analyze, use models, construct an explanation. So this is, to me, interesting in that they started with the chemistry, whereas the, I probably got my gain up too high, the old curriculum had this set to physics first. You start with motion and all of that. And so the way I originally taught this course for me was I taught chemistry first, for the first half here we'll um we'll do a is jamboard still a thing yeah so going away october 1st i really hate that like this is actually a pretty cool tool so the way i used to chunk my course was the first half was chemistry and then the second half of it was all the physics stuff and that's the way we used to teach it and um, me and my um, department member agreed that based off of what the test was doing that it would make a lot more sense to actually um, 
space it out to look more like this because if you look at the released items from the tests you know from 2013 to 2018 2019 that thereabouts um, this was the way we originally did our course was chemistry then physics so the first and we do nine weeks so two nine weeks make a semester so the first nine weeks was pretty much chemistry the second nine weeks was physics and that always makes sense because you have to talk about the electron and chemistry and you have to talk about the electron with electricity and so that's why with physics we would do all the energy stuff which arguably could have been done before to chemistry, but it was mirroring the order of the questions on the test. Because if you look at the North Carolina released items, um, you know, I'm going to release tests, and you look at the order of the questions on a released item. These are all these are EOCs. I don't want an EOC. It's really hard to find these things. That's a grade five test. <laughs> they ain't gonna let it be up there easy now are they let's look at this random link yeah so here we go so this is physical science from 2013 Man, this looks like somebody scanned it is what they did yeah they did so this is somebody answering it apparently okay i i don't know what they're doing here but anyway the, you know the first question is a distance time it's a speed question and then you have acceleration and then you have you're starting to talk a little bit about forces so you're talking about air resistance and you get into weight which is the force of gravity is mass times gravity you get into friction you get into forces newton's laws and then you get into the chemistry you start getting into mixtures and where on the periodic table is this and here's density and here's solubility and mass and chemical formulas and things like that um, and it's really interesting to see that they do all this chemistry and then after the chemistry they start going back into potential energy kinetic energy they get into light different types of waves this person's done quite a bit of extra stuff here um, and they've done all of these and then they do electricity and magnetism and the test is done so that's the way we taught the curriculum at my school was in that order but it appears if i'm reading this document correctly that the first standard is and i mean granted we don't have an eoc we don't have a state test some somebody else is viewing it hello anonymous lemur it appears that we are doing things a little bit differently so we need to establish difference between elements and compounds compare pure substances and mixtures and from a historical perspective I would argue they should probably do that one first um, not in this order I don't like teaching an order of objective if I don't have to and elements and compounds that's more like a unit two type material in my opinion because we need to understand what matter is first before we start breaking down into Dalton's atomic theory and all that fun stuff. Man, it's weird to kind of stretch those muscles after not thinking about them for a couple of weeks, a few weeks. Um, students use heating curves. There's a lot of stuff going on here. Dimension one, dimension two. See, the clarification statements is what I'm really looking at. They're giving us a list of vocab. I'm curious that they put the word oxidation in there, and it's a little bit more of an advanced technique, in my opinion, or word, to fully understand it. I mean, granted, you could say oxidation is the gain of oxygen. I mean, that's a very basic version, but it doesn't fit every example of oxidation. And honestly, I'm starting to lose my knowledge of oxidation because I don't teach it in chemistry anymore. So what does it look like to demonstrate proficiency? This is the stuff that's very useful for a teacher. Here's your students will be able to um, type material. And I don't know what that is. Let me pause for a second. Okay, I'm back. It was some random Texas number calling me. We'll see if they leave me a voicemail or not. Probably trying to do a survey because there have been a lot of surveys recently um, going out. You know, it's election season. So anyway, um, yeah, I mean, this is 70 some pages to scroll through and look through. And it's a lot. 
Um, so let's let's jump to the very end out of curiosity. It would seem electromagnetic radiation is the last topic. Emphasis is on conceptual understanding, instruments that sonar, radar, ultrasound, cell phones, GPS, Geiger counters, Doppler radar, Hubble telescope, depth finder, fish finder, x-rays, noise canceling headphones, Wi-Fi, Bluetooth. Multiple formats can be used to communicate information. It's a lot of stuff to go over, actually. You could do them very quickly, but... So it looks like they're putting waves at the very end. Mechanical waves require a medium. Electromagnetic waves do not. And I would agree that's probably a good way to do it. I, I usually teach electromagnetic first, but it's probably better to do the mechanical first. Um, and actually, I've been arguing with myself for a while about how I'm teaching things. So it looks like I need to redesign my notes again for physical science. I don't even know that I'm teaching it this year. So I think... I don't know that this is a good pacing Students carry out investigations to explain the basic principles of electric charge. Describe the mechanism of charging by friction. And I do like the fact that they give you almost a curriculum here. They're almost telling you what it is that you need to do or what it is that you need to go look up to get. So um, I actually do like that. And I'm sorry, I'm also tracking where Amazon is supposed to be delivering a package to me. And it's one stop away and it's just around the corner at the end of my street. So, hmm, we're doing Newton's Law of Motion. Okay. Um, NC Physical Science Reference Table. Because they have updated these. They have updated these as well. And... I need to see the newest stuff here. <sighs> NC Science Curriculum. Their website is so useless. So here's the physical science standards. Final. Understand all the nucleus and radiation, so we'll do radioactivity. And then we go to Interesting. Oh, it's coming up the road. Um, yeah, so I don't know. Um, this is a, not a very good video at all, and I apologize. I'm just kind of rambling here, but I figured it might be interesting to put in here and say, hey, look at this, and um, I don't know. I'm curious to see if any other science teachers happen to come across this um, and what you actually think of it. I guess I should zoom in and make that a little bit easier to read on my screen, shouldn't I? A lot of white space there. But, um, yeah, I'm just curious. Approved July 2023. It's a year later. Why are we just now seeing this? Um, yeah, there's, there's definitely some differences here. I'm curious to see. Actually, while we're here, naming. Do they talk about nomenclature at all? Type of bond, use models, convent... The International IUPAC conventions to name and write simple formulas for simple compounds. So what exactly do you mean by that? 2.2. So let's see if we can go back to this. 2.2. I am curious about that before I stop recording here. This is so useless. Must be delivering something at the end of my street. Okay. Oh, and see, that is something. See, I wanted to pull up the reference tables, but I can't find the reference tables very easily. So let me see if I can find these real quick. 
I don't want to pull my email up, so sorry, I'm dual screening here. I have so many emails. I clean out my emails at the end of the year, and there's so much more that just comes along. Yes, new standards is not very helpful. Okay, I think it's this website here. Let me pull this tab over here. So what we are interested in is, let's go to high school. These are just resources. This is not what I'm looking for. I'm not looking for resources. I'm looking for support documents, I guess. So physical science reference tables. Okay. And see, this is what, and see, first off, this thing is laid out stupid. First off, it's five pages. That is an extra page that doesn't need to be there. And I noticed that they give us the, they give us the prefixes, which is different. And I don't know why it's so big. Why does this have to be written so big? Are we assuming everybody ha needs large font um, when they're writing stuff? I keep saying he's one stop away, but he is, I don't know what he's doing. Um, they do give us some um, pre the polyatomics. There are nine of them. So we have an additional one. I don't think permanganate was in the original um, documents. Um, I am a bit upset. They did not write the charges correctly. Um, it took me a while as a teacher to learn this, but a charge should always be written number first, sign second. Um, oxidation states are written sign number but that's actually written backwards. They also give us a list of the diatomic molecules. I'm curious why they did that. I don't see where that's very useful, except if you're told to write out a chemical equation. You have to write it out, like you don't know the hydrogen's H2. The equations, thankfully, are all on one page now, and so I do like that. These, This isn't really any different from what we already had, so that's pretty much the same thing. And then look at this. If you printed this off, page three and page four, these things would not fold out, but these should be, in my opinion, pages two and three, so that when they fold out, you're looking at them, and you're like, oh, bam, there it is. And then they give us the um, electromagnetic spectrum, which is way huge. I mean, everything on here is printed so big. Now, for me personally, when I print these off for my students this year, I'm probably going to print this at half a page. And I'm probably going to print this off at half a page and then put the two together. And that way I can save a page. And so this will pro that'll probably be the front page of my paper. This will probably be the back page. And then this will be the middle, two and three. So I'm going to have to completely cut and destroy this from what it is. They do give us to us in Roy G. Biv. So Roy, um, Gamma's highest on the right. Radio's highest, um, lowest on the left as far as frequency goes. But radio waves have the biggest wavelength over here on the left. I'm the next stop that just told me that. Um, so I don't know. Uh, I'm just kind of rambling here. I've got to figure out exactly what to do. I think it's time to kind of recreate and redo physical science from the get-go. Um, I'm not going to think about it too hard for this because otherwise I'm going to hurt myself. And I don't mean in a bad way. I just mean like I'm going to hurt my brain. My brain's going to aneurysm or something from it because there's there's a lot to unpack in this. And I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to... Um, plan for like two or three days of measurement. That's a unit I've been thinking about doing, almost like a unit zero. Like, hey, here's a little brief unit of measurement. Let's do some practicing, get y'all immediately in the lab. Just do some simple things like, hey, here's a pencil that's been not sharpened. How heavy is that pencil? What's the length of that pencil? What's the diameter of that pencil? You know, just to get them some practice and get them to measure some everyday things at a lab scale to and scale, no pun intended, so that they can kind of get used to measuring things so that we can then apply that in the class itself when we're doing other things. Like when we get to density, I'll obviously have them measure like the density of water and we'll measure the density of like some alcohol. We'll measure the density of some salt water because those things allow us to get, and I don't mean like straight from the ocean or nothing, like we mix it up ourselves. And um, obviously it probably changes over the years. But the idea is just to understand that there's different densities. Just because it's a liquid doesn't mean I would do oil, but oil will be a nightmare to clean up. If any of y'all know a good way to do it that happen to be watching this, then first off, congratulations for watching this far to just watching a man ramble about this stuff. But um, I think that's what I'm going to do. And um, 
I don't know about any of you, if any of you are physical science teachers in North Carolina or somewhere else, what you think of with these documents. I may put a couple of these links below just to try to help out. I'm trying to update some videos to my channel too. It's been 20 minutes. Anyway, let me know what you think. If you have any thoughts, I'm there's a lot to unpack here. That unpacking document is very much unpacked, but is it phenomena based? Is it more phenomena based for the lower grades, for the upper grades? These are questions that I still have. And um, yeah, we'll, we'll see where this goes.